from Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Nicole Nalep, and here are your top headlines on this Tuesday, July 27th. There's new urgency this morning in the fight to slow the surge of coronavirus cases here in the U.S. Back here in Connecticut, cases continue to creep higher. We know that 63% of Connecticut's population is fully vaccinated. But even though our state ranks among the best in the nation when it comes to vaccination status, Healthcare experts say the highly contagious Delta variant has raised the bar for herd immunity altogether, which means we need to be in the 80s, they say. Pop-up vaccination clinics are taking place in towns across our state this week. Today, Meriden and Vernon will be hosting clinics, and you can find the full list right on the Channel 3 app. And wildfires on the West Coast continue to impact the air quality in some parts of our state. Can you believe it? You're taking a look at video in Hartford last night where the smoke was seen affecting some areas. Wow. Now we got the chance to speak with a Quinnipiac University chemistry professor who says that the severity of these wildfires could actually make the hazy air an ongoing problem. And for a second day, Bloomfield will be opening its cooling center on Park Avenue to town residents from 9 to 9. So the center is located right at the Alvin and Beatrice Wood Human Services Center on Park Avenue. The town says they'll also be providing water. If you decide to go, remember you must wear a face mask and practice social distancing. And it's going to be a hot one, isn't it, Scott? Yeah, between 85 and 90 today, Nicole, 710 is uh, the time that I checked last uh, at the temperatures. And we are taking a look at some of the numbers out there that we are forecasting for today. 86, 87, 90 degrees in uh, Brainerd, 90 in Middletown, 89 in Chester, mostly sunny, hot, with storms arriving after sunset through very early tomorrow morning. Some could pack a little bit of a punch, so we're going to ask you to keep your eyes to the skies tonight through early tomorrow morning. Third shifters, you could be dealing with some strong storms. All right, uh, overnight lows tonight, upper 50s, low 60s. Not bad in terms of the numbers, but it's going to be a little bit hazy with that smoke-filled sky. Tomorrow morning, some scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm giving way to partial clearing by about noontime. We're expecting a lovely afternoon with a temperature of about 80 with lower humidity. The humidity is back Thursday with scattered showers and thunderstorms developing late in the day through or early evening. Some of those could pack a punch. Friday, Saturday look good, unsettled for Sunday, and then Monday looks good. So not a bad looking seven-day forecast. Take care.